welcome 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 on this week's episode i'm going to be crafting a chest rig now normally i use the stalker brown chest rig this is the chest rig i use for about 90 percent of all my games it has all the various inserts it's got the hanger down below it's got loads of pockets for all my power banks chocolate bars and on my left side it's got the angled molly to allow me to cross draw my mk23 so rather than taking this brown chest rig and crafting a green I'm just going to start off with a green base. So I've had this chest rig now for a couple of years. It's pen cut and it will be a much better base for this summertime look. Already a million times better, but we're going to make it even better by adding some 3D elements to it. For this chest rig project, my suits, my gun wraps, everything is made by the Cover and his products, the original Halo screen. In the pack itself, you get some green hessian and you get five or six colors of Halo screen that you can cut, trim, blend together. It comes bagged in individual colors and it is also laser cut so you don't have to spend ages trying to get those leaf shapes. Also inside this large pack is a manual that tells you everything you need to know about halo screen and after teaching you that it then shows you how to add the halo screen onto your various materials. For instance mesh or in fact BDUs and I'll be using the BDU method to adapt my chest rig. There we have it, the chest rig is complete. It really didn't take me that long to do. There's lots and lots of gaps here between the halo flowers. On this center section of the chest rig, there's only about nine leaves plus this hessian fern. I've added a few down the pockets. I haven't really touched this side because the DDT is gonna go there. Normally I use the stalker universal where to just slip in and put the bungee over and that's it. Whereas the DDT, sometimes I find a wee bit awkward and sometimes I need the second hand just to click it in. On the straps, it's the same thing. There's a flower every so often. Leave the spaces. If you put too much halo across your whole suit or your whole chest rig, all you're doing is bulking the surface area out. 
but what you want to do is put some halo here, leave a space and put some here and create this real distorted shape. This will cause lots of shadows, lots of contrast and that's exactly what happens in nature with the shrubbery. So I could add some raffia to this but I'm not going to bother, I didn't feel that it needed it. For the forest scenario I probably would use the kind of darker brown raffia as opposed to the light but if you're in the grassy area, grassy green and brambles I would probably try to go for a lighter raffia. So that is now complete. Gaz here is my helper today. Say hello Gaz. Hi. I've asked Gaz to chuck on my chest rig just so then I get to see it. So the green is pretty good at the minute but I'll need to add more highlights to it. So if people are looking for Gaz I'm sure they wouldn't find him. Gaz stand up and there he is. So the sun's setting and things are getting dark. And I'm still a wee bit unsure about these Norwich leaves. They're still pretty darn bright. These two are very, very good, but I'm not too sure about this here one. Maybe nice for some highlights. These are the other leaves. I'm not too sure what this red is all about or what it's supposed to resemble, but I do have these on my trousers. Although I have chopped taken scissors to all the red bits and taking them off. This is them without the red bits and they seem to work a wee bit better. Okay, so I've used two base coat colors. One is the Fosco Mud Brown, and the other one is one of my favorite colors of all times, which is Flecktarn Brown. Um, if I set this gun down, it's very black, very dark, and not very good for camo, whereas already with just a wee bit of color, we're starting to break it up and get it to blend in. my highlights with some breakup pattern just using some leaves that are torn and give a nice shape. I do the highlights but they're way too bright that's okay it's just for the breakup we can then go back to our mud brown base coat that's very very dark and just darken the highlights down just until uh, we get the subtleties through. So for example this bit here is just way too bright I'm just going to give that a dusting of brown from fairly far away just to darken it down a bit. Just to show you the difference, this is it obviously unpainted and this is it painted. So comparison from that to that. 
The contrast for me is the difference between like a body shop or a car spray painter that like takes perfect spray paint and takes perfect surroundings, perfectly clean. I on the other hand don't bother. As you can see I've just turned the gun over and it's picked up all this dirt. I don't care about that. It'll break up, the paint will break up. It might even keep some of that texture on it which will be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, as long as we get the colours right, I'm happy. The, the gun kind of painted. I'm not going to worry too much about the mags right now. Um, I might tape them up, I'm not too sure, but I stuck the mag in just to help uh, control the overspray from the paint getting up into the hop unit and the barrel and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set this down, let it dry. If it gets dirt on it, I don't care. But <clears throat> it is what it is. Come on, we'll check out the suit then. So the suit, I've added a lot more drawings to this year instead of keeping it green but instead of using my brown chest rig I'm using my green pen cut and it is over there this was originally obviously my green suit but uh, I've added these big macro browns and um, this will help disrupt the shape if I'm in a territory that doesn't exactly match this green I'll have a silhouette of an arm and a silhouette of a head but if I break up that line with this brown hopefully it doesn't look like a straight line anymore gun is lovely and brown but as you can see there's no green on it so these stalker ferns are really really good they're really really big really really bendy they're probably too big for the gun so what I might do is snip the tips and stick them through the rail system the other thing I really like to use is the covert modular bungees these are really really fast for crafting your guns so at the minute it's obviously very brown and we want it to uh, adapt a lot more green so this should take literally about two minutes to do if even so you get them in various strands um, various lengths and you also get a few modular kind of hair bubbles like that the hair bubbles are great for the likes of your mags you just slip them on and the other place that I quite like using the hoops is the likes of your scopes they literally slip on and already as soon as I put that down it's starting to get a lot more blended with the green so my brown suit here has quite a bit of brown but also quite a bit of green and this is how I want my MTW to look so this should be really easy Round and round the gun and hooked it. Oh jeez. Sorry. That's my fault. <laughs> so I'm literally finding anywhere to put it on the gun. Basically these bungees are long bungees with hoops at the end. So I've hooked it on my foregrip here, wrapped it round the gun and I'm literally looking for anywhere on the gun that I can hook it on. So it's currently on this back pin here and hopefully that'll stay. If I don't want to do that and I want something slightly more permanent, what I'll do is I'll add a wee cable tie here and put the hoop through the cable tie and that'll hold really nice. Well, all in all, that's the gun now finished. Obviously, I could spray paint the gun green, but I want to leave the 3D elements to do the work of the green, so that's why I haven't sprayed it. The other elements that I could add are these stalker ferns that I mentioned before. 
These here have a bit of copper wire through them so you can literally mold them whatever shape you want. So I can either cable tie them on or I can grab a bungee and feed them through just the same as natural veg. Um, that'll give a really nice break up and lots and lots of depth to our rifle. I'll add a couple of these burn. Orin will get some b-roll and show you what it looks like. that's the chest rig and the MTW finished and one thing I'll say about adding lots of fern and natural vegetation to your weapons is make sure that your scopes your cameras etc if you're filming are all very clear the coverts bungees are nice and tight so they're probably a really really good trade between camouflage and keeping your weapon nice and clear obviously the fern are very very bulky and natural veg can be very very bulky so it may get in the way but that's always the trade are you wanting to add more veg and fern etc etc to hide yourself or are you just want them to camouflage yourself which is a lot more lightweight that's up to you guys so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe i've got loads of other videos if you're new to the channel hit that notifications bell and check out my other videos peace